What part of the word broke do you not understand in this country? I mean, what part of the word broke? You literally just don't comprehend and get it. All across this country, and I told you, I told you. You see, the wise people are the ones who have listened to wise men, and they started making adjustments way back then. Because, you see, the truth begin to resonate in their hearts. You know what? The ground beneath the feet of a lot of people, is it's giving way now. It's giving way because people are, are literally, their heart is full of fear because through discernment, they are able to see what's taking place and what's happening and they have not postured themselves nor have they gotten themselves ready for the tsunami that's coming. We already know. It's no secret. It's no, no, hey, no secret whatsoever at all. They are already cutting pensions. You know why? Because the powers that we that be, they don't know how to balance a checkbook. I mean, we have all but doubled the national debt under one president, Barack Hussein Obama, than in the history of all America. He has spent more money in the just about eight years that he's been in that than, than all the presidents put together in the United States of America. Whew. Now, guess what? I've got breaking news right here. Sent to me by my faithful brother, Mike, up in Ohio, who's a truck driver. See, they already then moved the jobs offshore. And that's the reason why Detroit, Rock City, is nothing but a refugee city, a refugee camp. Just one big state, a bunch of refugees. Um, and, and they're taking all the jobs and they're shifting them overseas and stuff. But check this out. Um, union truckers face potential pension cuts. Ain't going to be no potential to it. They're going to cut you. All right. Don Pre, uh, a retired teamster. Oh, so how's your union doing for all you boys out there? How, how, you know, you pay all your union dues and everything. How is the union doing for all you boys? Let me tell y'all something. You know, the union is nothing but a dog and pony show. They take your fees. That's just another tax to be able to line the pockets of these people who say they're representing you. And the truth is, they ain't representing you. They're representing their own best interest. You people should wake up to this stuff, really. But anyway, um, Lapeer, Michigan, collects a monthly pension check of $2,600 uh, if a proposal of a central state pension fund is approved, the 64-year-old's monthly benefit will be reduced to about $1,050. See, they're after retirement. Next, Social Security. Um, Social Security should be an all-profit, all-profit all um, um, institution anyway, since, because, I mean, you think about this. The majority of people pay into Social Security all of their lives, all of their lives. Most people don't even make it to 60 and they die. Where does that money go? Why come it doesn't go to the family? Um, where, where does the money go? Uh, why, why come it doesn't go to, to, to some other program that's going to benefit the, the state or the county? No, it goes into the coppers' hands so they can spend more money to build more bombs to go bomb the hell out of sovereign civilians. That's what, that's what it's all about. But anyway, uh, they cheated me, no doubt, Paris said. Uh, we gave up raises to get pensions. It's going to hurt a lot of people because they haven't prepared, prepared, prepared. I told you, do not trust America. Do not trust this system. If you do, you deserve exactly what you get. You see, you should have been listening to me a long time ago when I've been telling you. I've been trying my best to tell you what to do a long time ago. But, well, we ain't got to listen to him. He ain't nothing but a preacher. He ain't going to tell us the truth because they have flooded the market. Satan has with all these bootlicking jackleg preachers that when a real true one come, you don't want to hear it because you've already been mesmerized and desensitized. Well, it makes no difference. No, nah, I'm telling you, my cadence is a whole lot different. Than, than, than these bootlickers out here calling themselves preachers today. It, I'm telling you, I'm, I'll see if I can get this article and let you finish it down. Now, I had enough, but I'm, it, it's sad. 
They're going out to pensions. They're going to get every bit of because some way, somehow, they got to put some money to this national debt. And uh, they're not, the rich is going to be the last people. Um, and they're going out to Social Security. Can you imagine having your check cut over? Look at this. 55% when you worked all your life is, ooh, mercy. Can you say, USA, USA, USA. Hey, only in America, only in America, the American dream is a nightmare that is presently scaring the hell out of us.